Hey guys, it's Tux here, and YouTube Shorts are something that I've complained about a lot in the past whenever I talk about them. But to be completely honest, I'd say my opinion on them is pretty neutral. Maybe swing a little more to the negative side, but for the most part, pretty neutral. While yes, I do have some major problems with shorts, those videos are slightly over-exaggerated, and I don't really mind people who like shorts or even create them. But I'm getting ahead of myself, let's get into the real meat of the video. Today, I'm going to be making a new YouTube channel and posting YouTube Shorts on them over the next two weeks. The main reason I'm doing this is to see if YouTube Shorts are really a viable way to gain views. Or, maybe, it's all just luck with the algorithm. Or maybe a mixture of both, who knows. My main channel, and the channel you're probably watching this on, hopefully, has over 300 subscribers at the time of writing this, so my goal is to pass the current amount of subscribers that I'm at. Will I be able to pass my goal of the 300 subscribers I've built up over the past two years? Or will this all come crumbling down and prove once and for all that YouTube shorts aren't as good? Well, let's find out. I'm, I'm right here. I'm creating the new channel right now. I think I'm a name for it. <coughs> Sorry, I got something in my throat. All right, in case you can tell, the audio is awful. It's just terrible. So I'm not going to show any of it because it's frankly embarrassing. So... I'm just gonna do like a little summary. Basically, I named the channel XX underscore Frito Gaming underscore XX underscore 69. Truly the name of all time. So, yeah, that's all you really need to know. Let's continue on with the video. Okay. Well, looks like we got our ch little channel running up. Uh. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. The rest of the footage is also awful. I'm just gonna summarize everything. Basically, I created an anime profile picture because why not, right? And I created the the YouTube description. I am a I'm an awesome shorts YouTuber, YouTuber who makes quality content as much as possible. I love Minecraft, oh gosh, I love Minecraft and anime, anime, and YouTube shorts. I have a TikTok, but my mom wants me to keep it private. All right, and that's basically it. Now it's time to finally start making all the shorts. Now, for the shorts channel, I decided to make it a Minecraft shorts channel, you know, start off easy, it's it's pretty easy to do, so that's what I decided to do. So I loaded up a new Minecraft world, and I was ready to get started. There we go, that's what I usually use. Oh gosh. Alright, my screen recorder just failed. So yeah, my screen recorder just broke, but I just recorded it again. So basically, after I finished recording everything, I finally decided to upload the short. But first, I'm just gonna play so you can see this beautiful masterpiece for yourself. Top 5 Facts You Didn't Know About Minecraft Part 1 Did you know that an evoker can actually turn a blue sheep red? Pretty interesting if you ask me. Number 2 Did you know that if you kill an elder guardian, it will actually drop a wet sponge as you can see right here in my hotbar? And number 3 Did you know that if you kill an iron golem, it will actually be cracking before it dies? Well, that's all for today and that's why... Wow, what a masterpiece. I mean, just look at the accuracy of the video where I say top, top five, five facts at the beginning, but only list three. Not to mention the awesome stuttering that I do. But in all seriousness, a concern some of you might have is, hey, Tux, maybe you, someone will recognize your voice or something, or like your, your Minecraft skin. Because I didn't even bother to change my Minecraft skin. It's literally just Obama. But here's the thing. I only have 300 subscribers, and I'm like a nobody. So the chances of me getting recognized are slim and if that does happen then i'm gonna be scared for my life but with that being said let's upload the video all right we're finally on the frito gaming channel i should probably also mention that i added a banner but that probably shouldn't be seen by anyone because it's horrendous so yeah we're just gonna upload the video and see how it goes bro this video is gonna get so many views let's just copy and paste the the, the title for the description who cares all right who's gonna read it after tweaking a lot of the settings, I was finally ready to upload the first video. Alright, well, let's see how this goes. Alright, Frito Gaming has his first video uploaded. Oh, 14 minutes to process. Oh, wow. Yup, that's right. The first official Frito Gaming video has been uploaded. Now, one big concern of mine is that maybe it's not going to be successful, which is probably the most likely thing that's going to happen. But I guess that's just something we're going to have to wait and see. See you guys tomorrow. We're going to find out. Oh. 
Well, <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but, uh, uh, yeah, this video only has two views. Things are not looking good at all for Frito Gaming. Yeah. Yeah, things weren't really looking too good. Frito Gaming still only had one subscriber, which was just me, and the video only had two views. But I decided to change things up a bit. First, I decided to do a Minecraft video, but quickly scrapped that idea. We can't really do that much because I don't have any ideas. I could do a Minecraft Facts Part 2 and do like actually inter interesting facts, but I don't know any actually interesting facts, that's the problem. But then, I had a new idea. I would make a TikTok you laugh, you lose challenge. And honestly, I think the video came out terrible, which is perfect. I don't want to get copyrighted though, that's the problem. Uh, I'm probably gonna mute the audio when I like showcase this. Uh, so yeah, well, I'm gonna go into my XX Sniper Gaming or no, not Sni XX Frito Gaming persona. Ready? All right, let, let's just do this. After finally filming it, I decided to edit the video, and what you're about to see is a true masterpiece of our times. Yo guys, it's Frito Gaming here, and today I'm gonna be reacting to some really funny TikToks, and if I laugh, I lose. Let's go. All right, let's see this. He just listened to his AirPods. What happened? I'm so confused. Oh, I don't know any celebrities. Bro, he said the F word, dude. That's not good. I think we have a good video. Time to upload it. All right, guys. The second video is finally being uploaded. Finally, the world can see this masterpiece that I've created. All right. I called the video TikTok, you laugh, you lose. Hashtag shorts, hashtag you laugh, you lose. It's pretty, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Well, guys, the world will finally see the masterpiece that I have created. All right, the video is now public. Well guys, that's all I have for today. I'll check back tomorrow. Boom! All right guys, it's uh, it's day three. I'm not feeling too good. I'm, I think I might have a cold, or I do have a cold. But, so I'm not gonna be uploading a video onto Frito Gaming today, but I just decided that I'll at least check up to see how the channel is doing, right? You might as well. But I'm, I'm probably not gonna upload a video, so yeah. Well, let's go. Let's go to our channel and see what what's up. Yo, what the? Oh my gosh, dude, our video's like 580 views. That's yo, guys. That's it's weird. That's 15 likes. Even if my reaction while being sick didn't show it, I was ecstatic. I finally got success and views on Frito Gaming. Maybe YouTube Shorts are a viable way to get views. Well, I guess we'll have to check back tomorrow. Alright guys, this is crazy, alright? Look at this. 972 views. That That's how much this video has. Is it close to 1k? You know how long it, it took? It took... In my, in like my normal comics channel, it took me like... Like, two years before I got like my first video to 1000 views. And this one's already all like really close to it, so yeah. It's kind of funny because this video is awful. Like, like this is like one of my worst, the worst videos I've ever made. But and yet it's like the most viewed video. So yeah, it's pretty clear that Frito Gaming is popping off. Okay, I'm never saying that again. I'm sorry, but yeah, it's clearly becoming much more successful. So it's time to post the third video. What I'm gonna do for this video is it's gonna be called. It's gonna be like a Minecraft conspiracy, but obviously. Short, short YouTubers aren't that creative, so I'm just gonna steal a Minecraft conspiracy online. What about the gamer.com? That sounds legit, dude. Yeah, well, let's do the creepers are picked. So, whoever made this article. Okay, Ariel Needleman. What kind of a name is that? Uh, you, just, you just got credited because I'm gonna be stealing this conspiracy theory and making a YouTube short about it. 
Is that mo most YouTube shorts they use like par Minecraft parkour maps? So I'm just gonna get a parkour Minecraft map. After downloading the map, I finally decided to start recording some gameplay. Th this is the worst gameplay. Sh should, I, should I just. Sh Alright, so, so the thing is, for Frito Gaming, there's a hint of irony in it, so. Maybe I could get away with putting like really bad gameplay in this. Now I'm sure you guys are dying to see this amazing video that I've concocted. So here goes nothing. Minecraft Conspiracies Part 1. Did you know that the creeper and the pig are actually the same? That's right guys. This conspiracy stems from the fact that Notch accidentally coded the creeper by mixing up the pig model. That's right guys. Notch actually messed up the pig model. So the theory is that the reason that they're the same is because Notch mixed them up so they're secretly the same being. Well guys, subscribe for more interesting conspiracies and that's why. What a majestic work of art. I mean, just think about it. This is gonna get so many views compared to the last video. The last video already had a lot of views, but this is gonna get way more. Well, I guess time to upload the video. All right, I'm gonna upload the video. Well, here goes nothing. And with that, Frito Gaming has a new video. Oh, what? Two people dislike this video? But why? It was such a good video, dude. It was such a great, awesome video. Why would two people dislike this amazing video that I made? And eh, whatever, they're probably just jealous. They're probably just haters, you know? God, I hate haters, you know? Well, uh, I guess we're gonna have to wait tomorrow and see how everything goes. Alright guys, the reason I put the section as days 5 to 8 is because I feel like things are kind of slowing down a little bit. I don't want this video to get too long, so I'm just going to kind of like go through like everything that happens between days 5 and 8. Okay, so the first thing I did on day 5 was check the video and it has 1,000 views, but maybe not the best reception. Maybe you might have noticed it, but look right here. That's right. <laughs> this video <laughs> has, it has 10 dislikes. So 10 people really did not like this video. And you know what? I can't blame them, right? Because like this this video is awful. Like even though the video wasn't well received, I still wanted to upload another video. Maybe this one would do better. Who knows? After all, I am getting a lot of views, getting 1,000 views on this video. So maybe this will be a nice change. Anyway, here's this majestic masterpiece that I've created. Top 5 Facts You Didn't Know About Minecraft Part 2 Did you know that? The Pillager Outpost seems pretty symmetrical except for this one tiny little pillar that seems a little bit off. Did you know that if you hit a spider with invisibility you can still see its eyes? Pretty interesting if you ask me. Did you know that the glow squid technically glows? Even though it doesn't have any light, it's still glowing and you can still see it visible in the dark. Well guys, that's all for today and that's why. On day 6 things weren't looking good at all. I mean, just look at this, zero views. Bruh. At least the first video got like six views, right? I mean, that, that's barely anything, but this video only has zero views. So the thing I've noticed is that the Minecraft facts videos don't seem to get any views at all. But when I made the Minecraft conspiracy video and the You Laugh You Lose challenge, those got like close to 1,000 views or over 1,000 views. So I'm gonna try doing that again and seeing how things go. Minecraft conspiracies part two. Did you know that Herobrine is in every single Minecraft world? That's right guys, Herobrine is in every single Minecraft world. Why do I think that Herobrine is in every single Minecraft world? Well, you've hopefully seen that video where that guy encounters Herobrine in his Minecraft world. And who knows, maybe he could be in other worlds, right? So, I guess that's all the evidence we have. So maybe, you'll find Herobrine in your Minecraft world. Day 11 went surprisingly well. I got like a ton of views on the video, it got a ton of likes, but also a lot of dislikes. And I now have 11 subscribers. Here's a video I posted that day. Minecraft Conspiracies Part 3 Entity 303 is probably one of the most notorious Minecraft hackers. He said that he would hack all the Minecraft accounts and all your Minecraft worlds, but it seems he hasn't even done that yet. Is this just a fake conspiracy? Well, I don't actually think so. The conspiracy goes that what if he's actually planning something much bigger? He's gonna hack the entirety of Minecraft. That's right guys subscribe for more conspiracies and that's why and now we finally get to day eight that's right guys it's been an entire week since we've posted frito gaming videos even though one of those days i was sick 
It's still kind of an accomplishment. We're halfway there. The video I posted on day eight was another Minecraft conspiracy videos because those seem to be doing surprisingly well on my channel. I mean, like, I got 17 subscribers now, and that video is like getting a lot of views. So, with that being said, here's Minecraft Conspiracies Part 4. Minecraft Conspiracies Part 4. We all know about the Minecraft jockeys, right? Like the chicken jockey and the spider jockey, and there's probably a lot more jockeys in Minecraft. But, have you ever wondered why those two specific mobs sit on each other? Well, the theory goes that they're actually linked through some kind of special power. Maybe it's Hero Brian, maybe it's Entity 303 as we discussed in the last episode, who knows. But all we know for sure is that something weird is going on in Minecraft. And I'm gonna try getting to the bottom of it. And that's why. On day nine, I didn't upload anything because I didn't feel like it. So let's move on to day 10. So, you may have noticed, but I've been posting a lot of Minecraft Conspiracy videos because they seem to be doing the best out of all the other videos. But, I thought I might spice things up a bit rather than playing it safe, so for this one, I'm gonna post a Minecraft 1.20 update review. Top 5 Features Coming to Minecraft Part 1 In Minecraft, there are now these cool new cherry blossoms. They look pretty neat if you ask me. Another mob coming to Minecraft is the camel. Look at how goofy it looks. We now have these cool new armor trims that you can put on your armor. They make pretty good decoration if you ask me. You can now also make a new type of bamboo. Look at this little house I made with the bamboo wood. You can now also place hanging signs in your world. Just look at this one right here. Well guys, that's all for today and that's why... Well, it's day 11 and Frito Gaming has 25 subscribers total now. And the latest video has over 2,000 views, with a pretty good like to dislike ratio considering how terrible they were last time. So, all things considered, it's going pretty well. Like, it's not what I expected, obviously, but it was still pretty good. So, here's what I uploaded on this day. This is the greatest texture pack in Minecraft. Faithful 32x32 32 32 is a double resolution version of the original Minecraft textures, and it's run by a bunch of independent creators. The texture pack was actually stolen from the original creator by a guy named Cranef, but luckily it was taken back. Ant Venom made a really good video discussing about the controversy that happened, which you should definitely check out. And the people who work on this texture pack are really talented, and you should really support them. So that's why. Wow. Wow, look at all those sparkles. It says day 12 on there. That's so crazy, dude. For day 12, I posted another unique video because honestly, yeah, those those other videos, like the conspiracy videos, are getting old and I don't care anymore. But yeah, the channel now has 29 subscribers and the video that I posted yesterday has like a lot of views. So things seem to be doing pretty good. So let's see how this video goes. This is the most nostalgic version of Minecraft. Beta 1.7.3 is probably one of the most nostalgic versions of Minecraft, but why is that? Well, it's actually because it's the latest version of Minecraft that really feels like old Minecraft compared to the modern Minecraft we have today. The reason for that is because when Beta 1.8 came out, it changed a lot of things and a lot of people didn't like it. So a lot of people still play Beta 1.7 to this day, and it's just the latest version with like the least amount of bugs. So it's pretty cool. And honestly, I can kind of see where they're coming from because this has this nice classic feel to it. So honestly, people are allowed to play what they want. And if they're happy, then I'm happy. So that's why. Boom, bum bum, day 13. On day 13, my video had close to 2,000 views and a pretty good like to dislike ratio again. And now I have 30 some subscribers. So here's what I posted on this day. This is the most forgotten mod in Minecraft. The lucky block mod is probably one of the most forgotten mods in Minecraft. Way back in 2013 to 2015, the golden age of Minecraft, a lot of Minecraft YouTubers would use this mod for their videos. Basically, if you place a lucky block mod, something random would happen, usually something weird and funny. And basically, people would react to these weird little things that the lucky block summoned and created. It was really fun, honestly, and I kind of miss this era of Minecraft, and that's why... Well, it's day 14, the final day. So after this, I'm not gonna be posting any more Frito Gaming videos, and that's just gonna be the end of this entire challenge. So yeah, things didn't really go very well today because I only got one extra subscriber, bringing the total up to 38. But the video did all right. It got over a thousand views, which is all right, all things considered. And yeah, here's what I posted on this day.
This is why you can't ride dolphins in Minecraft. As you all know, you can't ride any dolphins in Minecraft, which kind of sucks because it'd probably be a really fun thing to add to Minecraft. But did you know that the reason for this is actually because Mojang doesn't want you to abuse the animals? Mojang thinks that riding dolphins could influence people in real life to ride dolphins, which I don't think is a good thing. But then again, this is a fictional game and I don't think people are going to really emulate fictional things in real life. But yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think that Mojang should add this as a feature or maybe they shouldn't just in case? You never know, right? And that's why. Well, I guess that's all. Now I just have to wait. So I'll probably come back, check in tomorrow and see like the stats, the views, the subscribers and everything like that. And we can come to some kind of conclusion at the end. So yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Or just in a couple of seconds because I'm just going to cut down the video. So, did this experiment succeed? Well, yes, but actually no. My original goal was to pass 300 subscribers, but after a couple of days, I realized that that was just a bit too ambitious and that I would need to have to upload way longer if I wanted to even come close to that goal. But I will say, 43 subscribers isn't that bad considering that I was only doing this for two weeks. In the first two weeks of the Tux Comics channel, I only had like nine subscribers, which is nothing. And for this channel, I had quadrupled that. The videos also got a ton of views, averaging about 1.5 views per video. The shorts algorithm seems to really favor those and recommend them to other people. When I originally posted the Minecraft facts video and saw that it only had 2 views, I was just about ready to scrap this video idea, but I decided to push forward and now the channel has over 40 subscribers. So in my eyes, even though I wasn't able to reach the high goal, it still shows that YouTube shorts are a viable way to gain views if you post constantly. But no, this doesn't mean I'm going to start posting YouTube shorts. Even though I was posting them consistently for the past two weeks, didn't really change my viewpoint on things. Yeah, I'm probably never going to post on that Frito Gaming channel again, but it was fun while it lasted. My opinion on shorts probably won't change at all because those videos I made were really low effort and yet they managed to get more views than videos that I worked months to finish, so maybe I'm just a little salty about that. But I guess I can respect the hustle for those kinds of videos. So, what can we take away from this video? I guess it could be that YouTube Shorts, while still not something I like, is something I don't hate people posting. So, with that being said, good night, Tri-State Area.